Welcome to today's show. My name is David and today I'm here to talk about this camera harness by Cotton. Now they did send me this product for review but they wanted me to show you what it is and how it works. So let's go ahead and take a closer look at this camera harness, the attachments, and I'm going to put it to the test. Okay, here's what you're gonna get in the package. You are gonna get some instructions. Well, this shows you uh, the features of it, and then there's also instructions on some of the bits and pieces. I'm gonna go through a lot of this with you anyway, so we're gonna put that to the side. Um, you are gonna get this little strap, this little separate thing. Now, this is a leash, a safety leash for your camera. Uh, you're gonna put this on your camera strap little eyelet, and then this part can connect to, um, like up in here, this actually has a lot of different places you can connect it to but uh, you can connect it on here as a leash so when you once you take it off the um, the little uh, attachment part of it here the little quick release um, and you're hand holding it you still have a leash on it so you're still running safety and security for it so you do get this uh, it does come off like a little snap here in case if you want to uh, release it really quickly you can do that as well so that part is pretty cool. Again, you got a hook on this side. And now the other thing you're gonna get is the quick release little bottom part. So there's a little, a little washer, and then there's this part of it. You're gonna get a little bolt, and you're gonna get an Allen wrench, and you're gonna get instructions on how to put this on your bottom of the, your camera, which I will do in a little bit as well. And then we have the harness itself. So let's take a closer look. Okay, well, the first and foremost, so this first part here is um, a really, actually, it's a very nice, secure plate, and this is the quick release part of it. So, um, with this this little bit here, you have your arrows, and in the instructions, it shows you to go along where the um, the um, lens is. So, when you're putting it on, it's going to go in. Oh, let's see, it's going to go in one way, twist it, and now it won't come off at all. And you can just twist it and pull it out. Twist it and pull it out either way. Uh, on that so now so that's this part here again it's a nice good center plate for it uh, we have some hooks to hook things onto like i mentioned there is a pouch right here in the front so now you can keep your your ellen screw in here or whatever else you might need um, i'm going to talk to you about a quick release plate for like a tripod in a minute too um, but that is um, you know a little pouch here at the front you're going to have this strap this little buckle strap and what this is for is to help keep your uh, camera with your long lens nice and tidy um, so if you have a really long lens you can kind of tie that up there this has some velcro so you can attach some things to it there um, uh, little elastic hooks. Let's make sure you can see that little elastic hooks down here. And this is a rain cover. So this just hangs on here. You can take it off if you want to. Uh, a little rain cover that you can take this out of the pouch. It just unfolds out, kind of out from itself. And now this is designed to go over your camera. So if it's raining, you just pop this out, slip it right over your camera like that, and that'll keep the rain off your camera very quick there's a little uh, little tie string here for that so that takes care of that part well there's the the buckle here this helps you get into the harness and there's also a buck buckle here too if you need to um, or you just slip it over your head uh, there's also as here at the shoulders there's uh, shoulder straps that you can adjust as well um, so that's very nice so the backside has a nice breathable fabric and it's actually a pocket so you can put some things in here if you want if you have kind of some along like a selfie stick or something you can stick that in there now for me i'll probably be wearing a backpack as well and this would be on your back so you probably couldn't uh couldn't get access to that but if you do have access you can you got a nice little hand strap there now these shoulder straps these are adjustable there's actually velcro in here that you can unvelcro it and adjust these so you can make them longer or shorter as well uh, you have two straps at the back that's designed to tighten this up uh, there is quite a bit of room on here we're going to put this on me i'm not a small guy but i'm not super huge but so we'll kind of get an idea of what that looks like on me on the inside this is your chest this is your chest plate right here there's a little pocket like a little cell phone pocket or something like that if you need to put some more stuff in you can put a pan or you whatever uh, now this will be against your chest so depending on how tight you have this on your chest will probably depend on what you can put in there or if you put something in there but um, this here has some padding as well uh, which is really nice lots of adjustments for this system 
Okay, so I have a camera here I'm going to demo this with. Um, I'm using my, my main camera right now. I will put this on here to show you, but then I'll probably bring that other camera down and um, and show you with the bigger lenses because this is a smaller camera with smaller lenses, but I want to show you the big ones. Um, but this basically just goes in here. There's a, um, a slot in this, and you're going to tighten this up. Camera, you can put the little washer down first and this. Now you want to make sure that the... Uh, arrows are pointing up and down you know towards your lens now you notice that there's another little hole here that is for a uh, it's a tripod hole so what can you do with that um, and this is one of the things that I was a little concerned with because I have um, other tripods and stuff like that that I want to be able to put my camera on and um, and I have like a, a quick release system this is a, a different brand quick release system I could just take it throw it right onto here like that so just in a couple seconds i can screw on this plate now i can use this quick release plate on my tripod if i want to as well um, so that's what that is there is for is just to adapt something so it does take you a few minutes so it's not very quick um, once you get that on there but again you have to take it off if you want to use this system i haven't figured out a way to be able to use both yet they do make an adapter plate for um a um, arca swiss type plate with this built onto it um i could not get it in time i'm going on a trip but i couldn't get it in time so when i get that i'll try it and see how um, that works but once this is on here what you're going to do is you're going to slide this sideways on oh should i get it in there and then down and now it's not going to go anywhere it's on there nice and tight if you can see that and then of course when you're ready to release it we just take it sideways and then pull up. Okay, I have my uh, regular camera set up. This is one that I would actually take with me when I travel. Um, and it's it's nice and on there. I had the vest on and I tightened it up good. Um, I might adjust it a little bit more. Um, I bet it was pretty simple to, to do, to put on and to adjust. And um, it's it's on there nice and good. So this is a Sony camera. And this one, this lens is the 16 to 28. So it's kind of a small lens, but it actually fits around that strap. So it's in there good and tight. And um, if I wanted to um, get it out, you could just loosen this up and move it, you know, whichever way you want to pull it out and you're ready to go, ready to shoot. I had the tether, the little strap on it here as well. Um, now I do also use the, the, the kind of strap that uses these quick release type of things. So if you wanted to put that on, you can do that as well as just for safety. Um, but anyways, this has got, so this has got a lot of room to it. I can adjust it even more, uh, make it a little bit better, but um, it just goes right in just like that. Very simple and easy. Now let's put it to the big test. So now I've got the big lens on this thing. Now this is a Sigma 60 to 600 lens for the Sony. So if you look it up and you can see the sizes, it's like five and a half pounds. It's super long, super big, but it, um, it holds on there pretty good. Now, I don't know if you can see, but I actually have the little connector mounted on the foot of the lens. You want to make sure you're mounting the lens to that and not the camera um, because it's a much heavier piece and you don't want to break your camera on there. But which is actually kind of cool because I can take this and I can swing this off and put another lens on if I want to. You want to cap that off of course. Um, put that on if I want to there um, or go ahead and snap that back in and then I can of course release it tip it over, pull it out, and shoot. Um, pretty cool. It, it is big. It is heavy. Um, I might have to adjust the straps a little bit to, it's almost a little too high, but um, so I might want to try lowering this down a little bit. So again, there's a lot of adjustments with the shoulder straps. You can make those longer. You can tighten up the, uh, the, the back, the waist, and you can see I've got, I've got quite a bit of um, strap left over. This is the strap from tightening it up around my my back and waist. But it's it's on there and it's supported pretty well. Let's see if I can try to swing you around and try to show you in the little studio. So I apologize that we're kind of small space here. But I wanted to show you what that's like. Then of course you have the um, the little lens strap, the little seat belt. You can strap that in, and it's. It's pretty good. It's pretty sturdy. It's actually way better than hanging it around my neck. Um, I do have these little tabby things here on the lens with the neck strap. 
and I've had it hang into the side with the camera on. It's very heavy and it really hurts the neck. This doesn't really at all because it supports through your whole back. Okay, so a couple more things for you. Um, the um, little release, quick release, little knobby thing here, and you might want to get an extra one of those so you can put one on the camera and on your big lens like this. I was just thinking about that, that if I wanted to take this off and maybe use my big lens on a, on a strap and then put this on the harness, that kind of stuff. Um, the other thing too is remember this little pocket? You can take the, um, the, the Allen wrench and put it in there, but you can also take your quick release plate and a coin. You gotta remember that because it's got that little, um, you know, little thing on there, the, the slot. This one actually has an Allen head screw to help you in there, but it's a different size. So you're gonna have to either take that one of those tools or or this. Now my tripod does have uh, um, a tool attached to it as well, so you can use that. But if we just take these items and pop them in to here, they're kind of easy access to get to. So I can take this off and grab my coin. And now I can take it and here's the, the thing. Now I can add it to the um, little plate that comes with the cotton system. So it's a little bit of work, yeah, and you have to have some space or place to do this. Tighten that up, and now this will go on my little tripod. Really cool, easy to do. So it's, you know, there's a lot of different bits and pieces to it that you can uh, use and do. Some of it's gonna be quick and easy. Some of it is not going to be as quick and easy uh, as you see, because it's not all kind of compatible. Um, I am looking forward to that other attachment plate that has the tripod base on it as well, because I can attach this to that, and then it has the knobby on it, all that kind of stuff. So um, lots of <laughs> different options with this strap. The other thing I wanted to tell you is you can put this on over a jacket as well. Um, again, the the, um, the straps are um, pretty long. Let me see if I can get this off. Either slip out of it, but um, the straps are pretty long. So if I extended this all the way out, I can put this over a jacket, a windbreaker, um, anything like that. So if you're out in the in the the wilderness, um, or like me, I'm going to be in Alaska. It may get cold. And so I will have to put my um, my jackets on. This can go over the top of your jackets. It's got a lot, a lot, a lot of room uh, to, to put it on, tighten it up so you can stay nice and warm, have your harness on the outside and your camera attached there, ready to go. Uh, so I think that is all of the bells, whistles, and features of this harness. If you are looking for a really cool camera harness system, this one. Maybe the right one for you.